Growing up, you were an African-American socialized as a girl, adopted by a white family. That must have been extremely confusing for you. It was really, really hard. And there was a lot of questioning around, how did I get here? <laughs> and who am I? And how do I do this? I always felt, or not even felt, I knew that I was different. It made me very quiet and introverted and sad. I remember in my childhood just always thinking, you know, this isn't going to be my life. When did you finally come to the decision to transition? Started thinking about transitioning around 17, 18 years old. So it was around that time that I started to ask myself questions around, could this be me? Am I really a man that had been assigned at birth the wrong gender. I finally made the decision when I was about 25. I still remember receiving my first testosterone shot and how happy I was. I knew I made the right decision. What was it like the first few years after you transitioned? <laughs> they were tough. <laughs> they were very hard. So much shifted quickly. You're learning new emotions. You're learning how to deal with new thoughts. You're learning how to deal with the changing body. And then on top of that, you're engaging with the world in a brand new way. Tell me about the ritual that you have adopted to help you in this life's journey. There are so many different aspects of a human being. You know, mind, body, spirit, will. And for me, transitioning, I had to figure out who am I now in terms of these different aspects of, you know, my, my being. And so I created Love Your Vehicle, your vehicle being your, your body, your temple. I created that physical routine that I needed to build my body into what I wanted it to look like. And I love to trail run. I love the obstacle of having to leap over roots of trees and run up hills and feel dirt and breathe the air. The mind component is about learning. It's critical that every single day I spend time really enriching my understanding of what's happening around me. And the spiritual component is um, about meditation. When I meditate, I will really focus on just keeping my mind calm. And I get to experience that peace and realize that there is a peace that is a part of life that we can have. How has this ritual of yours of loving your vehicle changed you as a person? It has made me a lot stronger. And it's also allowed me to be okay with myself as a transgender person. It's allowed me, it's helped me to walk in the world with strength and pride and confidence. And it's allowed me to believe that not only, you know, are transgender people real, but we are important and we are part of the fabric of life, despite anything else that I might hear during the day. Be sure to watch this next episode. When you look in the mirror now, who's the person that you see? So I see a lot more confident person. I see someone who's made a lot of progress. And most of all, I see someone who's on a journey.